so today's topic is going to be cosmetic chemistry or the chemistry of makeup. Lots of people put on their makeup every day, but they never stop to think, why does my makeup work? They just think it's a product, and they don't stop to really consider that it's a lot of chemistry at work that's on their face. So the first component in makeup is coloring agents. Chemists use dyes and colors from many different compounds to give their cosmetics colors. Coal tar, chromium oxide, aluminum powder, manganese, iron oxide, and mica flakes are a few examples of minerals used for makeup colors. And then some products from plants such as beet powder can be used in makeup and others are from animals such as this bug which is ground up and used in your makeup to make a red color. So the most common coloring agent is coal tar. Coal tar is a sticky black liquid made by heating bituminous coal in large ovens. <laughs> coal tar colors are created from ring-shaped carbon and hydrogen containing compounds called aromatic hydrocarbons. This product has shown to cause cancer in a test with lab mice. This dye may cause allergic or irritant reactions such as rashes or inflammation, especially in the red and yellow colors. <laughs> Next product in makeup is bases, but not the kind of base that you might think when you think of chemistry. Cosmetic chemists must confront a really difficult task when they use makeup because people sweat and cry and eat and drink and they still want their makeup to stay on. And almost every type of makeup has um, oily waxy mixture in it to hold all the colors onto your face and for the colors to stay in the makeup when they're in their tube. So manufacturers call this combination a base, although it's not the same kind that reacts with acid. The type of base used in makeup depends on the makeup type. Half of the weight of lipstick is from a mixture of waxes and castor bean oil because this won't dissolve in saliva or beverages. The oil in lipstick makes it viscous or thick and sticky so the color will stay on the lips. The wax in the lipstick is thixotropic, means, meaning that it only becomes fluid when it's stirred. And this property keeps lipstick from melting, and it helps it stay in its shape. Lipstick also contains esters, or slippery chemical compounds, which are formed through reactions between alcohols and acids. Esters are added to make lipstick shine, and to make the dry oil and wax mixture glide smoothly. Mascara also requires a heavy base, such as paraffin or carnauba palm wax. These ingredients are used to keep the pigments on eyelashes through sweat and tears. They are also used to thicken and separate eyelashes. And then bases are also in fa face foundation. They are composed of water and mineral oil. Water and oil do not dissolve into each other, so foundation is an emulsion, which means tiny drops of one liquid are suspended in the second liquid. To help keep these mixed, emulsifying agents such as sodium stearate are added. Other components used as bases include isopropyl lanolate, lactate, and octyl hydroxystearate. These are non-toxic oily compounds called fatty acids. Bases rarely cause allergic reactions, which is good because you don't want to be allergic to your makeup. Lanolin products, which are from sheep, and beeswax are the most likely to cause allergic reactions because some people are allergic to those animals. The oils and waxes and bases can aggravate a medical condition common in young adults, acne. The greasy compounds can cause the development of whiteheads, blackheads, and pimples because they do easily clog your pores. The third product in makeup is bulking agents. Bulking agents are used in face powder and eyeshadow because they aid in creating an even coverage. One of the most common bulking agents is talc, a powder made of the mineral magnesium silicate. 
Talc is very popular in makeup because it absorbs perspiration and has a smooth, slippery texture that makes application easier. However, the inhalation of talc is hazardous. Repeated inhalation can cause lung problems, so makeup with talc is not the best. More exotic bulking agents have recently become more popular. Silk powder in eyeshadow and nylon and silk fibers in mascara are becoming common ingredients. These can be irritants, as silk powder can cause severe allergic reactions and fiber-containing mascaras can irritate your eyes. And the last product used in makeup is antimicrobial and antioxidant additives. These preservatives are added to makeup because bacteria like warm, moist solutions, which most makeups are, and without these preservatives, the makeup would have a lot of harmful microbiota microorganisms, which is not healthy to smear on your face. The most common preservative is parabens, which includes several long words, which I'm not going to read. These are <laughs> rarely allergenic. And antioxidants are also added to makeup, listed as longer words, which is why we say antioxidants, and they are added to prevent makeup ingredients from combining with oxygen, called oxidizing, which can ruin the makeup's me um, texture or color. The end. Now you know the chemistry of your makeup.